Hey, it's the Empire. Geo Boxing Empire. Back some more boxing. Now, there's an undefeated fighter named uh, Zeli Zhang. He's a he's an undefeated Chinese fighter, and he just had a fight recently with a uh, Curtis Hopper. Now it was a pretty good fight, man. Um, Zhang Zeli was getting hit with 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 a with a couple of good shots, um, but he managed to drop uh, Curtis Harper. And um, they called the fight, man. He got up. He was walking around. He looked a little wobbly, but they called the fight in the first round. And it was, it was a good win from Zang, uh, Zilly Zhang. But in my opinion, I, he, if you actually watch him fight, every time he do a combination, his hands dropped. And he, and he was throwing him from his waist. And um, I wasn't sure about that stoppage, man. It was pretty early stoppage. Now, um, I'm not sure he's promoting these fighters, but I'm pretty sure these promoters... I mean, they're, they're pretty rich over there. And there hasn't been a heavyweight, uh, Chinese heavyweight ever, <laughs> you know, champion. So, in my opinion, these uh, promoters need to start hiring some good uh, trainers, man. They need to come over to America and, and go to, like, Philly or just somewhere else. They, they need to come to America and, and get, like, a Freddie Roach or, or like a Roger Mayweather. Or even a Robert Garcia and, and start getting these uh top trainers to trainees to train their fighters, man, because they're lacking some fundamentals. Now that being said, man, I, I think these uh I think they're trying to they're trying to build a superstar over there. And, you know, getting refs to call fights, that's not gonna make a superstar at all. The only thing I was gonna do is get them to the level and then they're going to get hurt and knocked out really bad. I mean, you, you're not gonna do anything for your fighter by getting refs to call fights early. So they need to really do something about that. I'm not, I'm not liking that at all. Um, this guy, he, like I said, he's 16 and 0 with 12 knockouts. So it's not like this guy had all knockouts and they had to protect out protect his knockout streak, right? He went to decision a couple of times. So, you know, hurting a guy in heavyweight is, is normal. So the fact that they stopped it so early in the first round, it, was just, it didn't make any sense to me. Even if the guy was hurt, I mean, it's the first round of a fight. So I didn't agree with that stoppage. I think they're, they're probably doing that paying people uh paying refs off to stop call fights early because that that was a horrible horrible call but yeah man um i'll leave the description in the link um for for this fight so you guys can come to your own conclusion but you know i i really it's pretty cool man i, I mean i like heavyweights being built in foreign countries because it makes things more interesting but i don't i don't like it building up fires like that because it doesn't make it exciting because we all know the truth that is you know that Okay, you have refs over there calling the fights early and that you're not that really that good, you know. If I want a foreign fighter who's undefeated, I want to know that he's good. I want to know he has the proper training and he has, you know, solid fundamentals. So I think overall it's hurting the, the you know, the fighter and hurting the sport in general because it, it becomes this, like, blind hype. You know, I don't like that. I like hype that, you know, is warranted for. So let me know how you guys feel. Like, comment, subscribe. This is the Empire. Geo Boxing Empire. Peace.